hi everyone welcome to my channel you are welcome 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 god bless you god bless. it's a great channel a channel where we pray and get answers a channel where we have word of prophecies word of knowledge a channel where god talks to us a channel where god comforts us with his word and lifts us up a channel where you have the whole of the bible on the playlist god bless you so subscribe to this channel if you are new here subscribe and touch the bell you are welcome god bless you and if you are a returning subscriber i appreciate you thank you for this coming back god bless you what we'll just say this is words of prophecy over our lives today just prophesy god's word on our on lives today and we will be blessed richly let's look at the book of psalm 1 to 1 7 to 8 it says the lord will keep you from all harm he will watch over your life the lord will watch over your coming and going both now forevermore hallelujah amen well, let's pray with this scripture right now as i you know like let me elaborate on this and let me pray for ourselves and prophesy this word upon us so the lord will keep you from all harm hallelujah in the name of jesus the lord will keep me and my family and my loved ones and you and your loved ones from all harm in jesus name amen yes we we in jesus name amen from all harm all 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 not some the Lord will keep us from all harm in the name of Jesus Christ. No matter the kind of harm, whether it be harm from gun, harm from knife, harm from bomb, harm from accident or plane crash or whatever kind of harm, home accident, whatever kind of harm, the Lord will keep us from all harm in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He will watch over our lives. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. The Lord will watch over our lives, life for our family and our generation, and all our loved ones and our generation in Jesus' name. How do you know what it means for the Lord to watch over your life? <laughs> you are made. He will watch over our lives. The Lord will watch over our coming and going. Hmm. Jesus, massacre by decree in Jesus' name. The Lord will watch over your coming and going in Jesus' name. The Lord will watch over our coming and going. The Lord will watch over our coming and going. Jesus, then we will go to our job, we watch over us. We will come back to our houses, we watch over us. We will go to the shopping mall, we watch over us. We will go to the church, we watch over us. We will go anywhere in the world, we watch over us. We will travel, we watch over us. We will in the sea, we watch over us. Everywhere we go, we watch over us. At school, we watch over us. The Lord will watch over your coming and going. Yes. The Lord watch over our coming and going in the name of Jesus Christ. He watch over our children's coming and going and all our loved ones coming and going in the name of Jesus Christ. Both now and forevermore. Hallelujah. Rataka Sata Libaya. The Lord watch over my going and my coming. And the going and coming of my family members and all my loved ones and my brother and all my subscribers on this channel in the name of Jesus Christ, both now and forevermore. Hallelujah. What a word! Both now and forevermore. Forevermore. It didn't say watch over you for some time or for some months or for some days. He said forevermore. Father God, we thank you for this psalm. We put ourselves in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will keep us from all harm. You watch over our lives. You watch over our coming and going. Both now and forever. Forever and evermore. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We are blessed. It is well with us. It's will be our portion. And for our children, we will testify. Our loved ones will testify. Our generation will testify of God's keeping them from harm. Of God's watching over our lives. Of God's watching over us. Are going and, you know, are going and coming forevermore. In Jesus' name, we thank you. We bless your name. We worship you. Allowed be thy name, O God, forevermore. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. Welcome to my channel one more time. Subscribe and touch the bell. I will see you in my next video. This one of prophecy is for us and is established in our lives. In Jesus' name, God bless you. And if you are new here, as I said before, don't forget, forget to subscribe. Subscribe. If you're not born again, I'm going to pray a prayer of salvation for you. Say that prayer and be saved. Remain blessed. Thank you. Bye. If you're out there, you're not yet born again. You don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior.
you've not accepted him you still think is a mess story you still you've been thinking is a joke you'll be thinking there's no heaven you'll be thinking there's no god the bible says the fool says in his heart that there's no god you are there thinking all these things there is god there is god and the lord jesus christ actually came to die for you and me and apart from the bible saying that history books also have that written down that the, somebody called jesus christ came to this earth and did a lot of miracles and died and rose again so if you are there not born again say this prayer after me say lord jesus today i accept you into my heart to be my lord and my savior from this day onward i am yours I will follow you. I will serve you. God in heaven, I thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die for me. He died for me on the third day he rose from the dead. Thank you, God, for this love, this unconditional love. Thank you for loving me. Thank you, Lord. Today, I belong to your son. I will not go back to the world. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. If this prayer was said by you, and with all your heart, you made it, you are now born again. But if you know you said this prayer, you did not mean it, say it all over again. And with all your heart, mean it. Mean it. So you can be born again. And if you said the prayer already, and you mean it, please start going to a Bible teaching church. Where God's word will be taught you. So you can grow. The Bible says, as, as newborn babes, desire the sincere make of the word of God, that ye may grow thereby. God's word is what the food, is the meat that will make you to grow as a young Christian, even as uh, an old Christian. God's word is a food that will make us to grow. But we grow every day, we learn every day. So very important. Go to the Bible teaching church. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews that we should not forsake the gathering of the saints together. In the book of Psalms, the Bible says, How beautiful and how pleasant it is for us to dwell together in unity and harmony. That way God commands his blessing and life forevermore. So when Christians come together, God commands his uh, blessing and commands life there. So go look for a Bible teaching church. That means a church where the Bible is being taught. A church where they open the Bible and they teach from it. It also a church where people are filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of praying in tongues. Go there and stay there that you may grow. So you have a great life here on earth before Christ comes. God bless you. Subscribe to my channel. Touch the bell so you know when we have a new video. Stay blessed. Share this video. Bye.